Jenny, thank you. You're welcome. We just visited with Tommy Dell about professional development. Mm -hmm. It sounds like the program should be a little bit more formalized and kind of multifaceted. Help me out with that. I agree. I think there's several parts to it. I don't know if I'd put an exact number, but I think the planning process, it's not just for the business, it's the discussions, the what ifs, the interaction between things, the talking between people, get in the business, getting the different perspectives. It's the process. So it's thing. learning how to communicate, and then we'll define some of the right. things that we need. Okay. And what I learned from it. Performing autopsies, some people call it debriefing taking the big decisions that the business has made, whether they turned out well or poorly, okay. and talking through. So we can always draw out the, the learning right. characteristics the learning. That's of it. The okay. big part of it. I think you need some he needs some exposure to the negotiation. He may be involved in that already, but when you're dealing with the banker, when you're dealing with the landlords, I mean, even as an observer, that's a big part of the business. So part of it's your network and the relationships you can de develop out there within the industry and, and complementary to your business. And I think there's kind of two parts to that. One's the network of people that you can touch base with or mm -hmm. draw on for different perspectives. The other you might call the mentors, people that are seasoned people, usually successful people. They don't even need to be in your industry. They're, they're more likely to be more local. So I need people I can call on, either from <laughs> yes. a network basis or somebody that might be a mentor from time to time or on a regular basis that I can call on and get some advice, get yeah. some input, get some reflect about expertise. Okay. It, it amazes me. The most successful people I know have an incredible network that they draw on. The other one, one of the things is continuing education, not just because that's what I'm in, but I, I think exposure to development of skills, management development is complemented. By so formal so education. formal education makes a big difference. We're moving very, very fast as a society, mm -hmm. right? There's right. no possible way to keep up on everything yourself. Why not tap into the expertise that's out there and available? Right. I mean, I run this program called the Executive Program for Agricultural Producers. I think that's a good option. It's exposing them to a lot of different faculty from all over the country. But as much as that, a lot of different producers doing different things. It broadens you. So mentors, expertise and a formalized program. Thank you, Danny. Okay. Welcome back to Leave a Legacy. Legends of Leadership is our opportunity to meet some of the trendsetters in agriculture. Today's legend is well known in the West and highly respected in the beef industry. John Harris markets a brand of beef bearing his family's name. It's recognized as high quality and I'd better let John tell his story. Tell me about the concept of branded beef. But we wanted to have something that, that when a consumer went into a store, he would identify Harris Ranch beef you know, as a premium label. And we started on this literally 25 years ago, and it's been, been a somewhat of a slow process, but we do have a, a, a brand identification out there, and it's, it's, it goes all the way from the production cycle to the processing to marketing. It's not just one segment that you, you focus on, but we try, we, uh, we have a, you know, strategies in each one. And, now we're, you just used a word, not going to degrade anybody. Mm -hmm. And then earlier you talked about, well, maybe we're all, all beef is good. Yeah. But you're a highly competitive guy. Well, you got to be competitive to be in any kind of a business. But I hate to see agriculture get into, into being that you build up yourself by tearing down somebody else. I mean, like, like, like some of the... Uh, sort of like natural food guys and stuff, which we grow organics and we do, you know, a lot of, we feel we're very sustainable, but we don't like the idea that, that, that any food producers are saying that there's any problem with us, something else, so buy mine. So I think we, we'd rather have it be that ours, you know, we're putting every effort we can into ours and it's a great product, but that doesn't mean that uh, anybody else's product is defective. So the stronger agricultural is, it, it, it's better for everybody. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, we've got it. I mean, the food, food is one thing that everybody consumes every day. So, I mean, they can't live without it. So, we've got a vast, we have a vast market out there, but we just need to, to, to best capitalize on it and, but, and assure consumers that, that, I mean, American food is so good and so nutritious and, and so affordable that, that uh, I don't think we have to 
really worry about you know competing so much as just building up faith in the consumers that 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 uh, our product is, is something they really want to have. What are your keys to success? The key is to find people around you that can keep you successful, to make you look good, that uh, get, get people that, that you really trust and, and are motivated and are you know, technically very qualified and still have the, the drive and personality to, to work well with others and enable them to go ahead and do whatever that their task is. And I think I've been fortunate to surround myself with a lot of good people and try to, I, think I need to continually be, you know, keep an open mind and see, you know, what new thing is coming along that really makes sense or, or, or what thing that you're doing that you need to change or, or just flexibility, I think, is the, the big thing and uh, long-term relationships and trust of, of people that you're working with is key. Legends start with an outsized vision, boundless energy, and an uncanny ability to rip. My closing comments when Leave a Legacy returns. Today's squeeze between feed costs and milk prices creates a critical relationship between forages and profitability. High producing dairy herds rely on high quality silage, so many successful dairy operators trust Pioneer brand silage hybrids. Experienced Pioneer sales professionals can help match the right corn silage hybrids to all phases of your operation for high tonnage, high energy, and high digestibility. Pioneer representatives are backed by extensive research and dairy nutritionists, offering silage harvest and bunker management tips and practical solutions for improved production, all to help you squeeze more milk out of every acre. Pioneer also offers breakthrough corn fiber technology with Pioneer brand 11 CFT inoculant. It improves the fiber digestibility and nutrient value of your corn silage and extends bunk life. From planning through feed out, rely on your Pioneer sales professional to help you improve your silage and give your cow something better to eat. Pioneer, science with service, delivering success. Match the right product to the right acre and you'll see results. Why series soybeans from Pioneer, for example? They're redefining yield potential field by field. Powered by our exclusive accelerated yield technology system, they're the next generation of high-performing Pioneer varieties with bred-in pest resistance traits. It's easy to see why growers plant Pioneer brand soybean varieties on more acres than any other brand. On the agronomic terrain, the best outcomes depend on the best advice. A Pioneer sales professional realizes no two fields are alike, so no one product is the answer. We offer decades of collective wisdom supported by hundreds of agronomy experts with state-of-the-art knowledge. So choose the right product for the right acre. Choose the people and the company who are out there with you every day, every season. Closed captioning is brought to you by Optimum Brand Innovations from Pioneer Hybrid. Science with service, delivering success. As this episode winds to a close, I'd like to remind you, the only difference between the person you are today and the one you'll be tomorrow is the commitment you make and the actions you take. Right now, commit to success. Write out your objectives, share them with the family, invite their input, and then work together to define your succession goals. Results don't happen because you have complex strategies and fancy plans. Results happen with clearly defined goals, family team commitment, and good communication. For more information and planning resources, go to FarmJournalLegacyProject.com. Until next time, for Leave a Legacy, I'm Kevin Spafford.